Today we're going to talk about what happened in round two because round one was filmed, uh, showed every shot yesterday. Unfortunately, my cameraman had to go home, so didn't get round two filmed, which is a shame because I played slightly better again. And I'm going to talk about some of the shots. I've got like a few clips from the day, just a few clips on the back nine that I'm going to show as I talk about this. But let's get the scorecard up and I'm going to talk through the round and then at the end of this video talk about the content that's coming up this week because there is another event that I played literally the day after this round and that footage is going to come this week and I reckon you're going to really like that so let's get the uh, let's get the old scorecard up man. so the end of round two I left it by saying I probably need to shoot around three or four under to get in the money the money was around level part at the end of the day and to be honest the way I played I probably should have been at that point. I'm going to talk through it and scroll down a bit. Not much. Not all the way. So, better than last year. Round two. Here it is. I'm going to try and make this as animated as possible so you can like really feel like you're there. First hole, that par three. I might show you some clips from yesterday actually because that would make a bit more sense. So, par three, 155 yards. Hit another decent tee shot, 9-9, left myself about 10 foot, just missed the putt. Second hole, par 5, big dog leg round the corner, left myself a long way in actually, so I laid up, then knocked it onto the green. Gave myself a look for birdie, but it's quite a long way away, so just like nestled up to the hole. So par, par start. Then moved on to holes 3 and 4, so hole 3 is that par 4, which I hit it in the bunker yesterday. But what I did this round is hit it on the same line but just not a toe dipper. Kept it in the air, left myself around 90 yards. Actually hit a decent approach shot in here, so the, the green slopes left to right quite hard. And I knocked it under the hole, gave myself an eight footer, straight up the green, quite an easy part and just knocked it in. So birdie, good start. Next hole, hit it into the right semi, off the tee, six iron, left myself around 100 yards. Hit a little 60 degree, it was out the rough, so it was quite bouncy. Landed on the front of the green, rolled up to six foot, had quite a big break, so it was like two cups outside the right-hand side from six foot, knocked it in, birdie. Then par five, actually hold a decent putt for par from six foot. Hit it in the bunker on the par three, and knocked it out to three foot, knocked it in. Really solid, even a short game's good, which is, uh, in fact, let's not self-deprecate. Let's, um, from now on, I'm not gonna say I've got a shit short game. Seven and eight. Quite a bit happened here. This is really frustrating. So hole seven is a hole where there's an environmental area on the left. So you can hit it in there, get a drop, knock it on the green, two putts par, easy. That's where I was trying to hit it basically, if not catch the fairway. Ended up hitting it 30, 40 yards right into the trees, which is exactly what I did yesterday. But what we didn't see is my ball actually hit the tree, kicked out the tree, ended up in the middle of the fairway 80 yards from the green next to my provisional ball which was another 30 yards left just on the edge of the environmental area so I went over to the tree gave it the three minute look playing partner saw that my ball was in there was a ball in the middle but he thought it was my provisional ball so gave it the three minutes couldn't find it walked over I was like what's this because I thought that ball was my playing partner's provisional ball because we both hit two off the tee it's my fault in the middle of the fairway, 80 yards from the green. So, <laughs> so I had to pick that up. I was raging at this point. Picked it up, walked over, hit my provisional ball onto the green. So I had a look for bogey, which just missed the hole, just on the low side. So double bogey when, it, to be honest, the, the flow that I was in, I was putting really, really well. I had some confidence going. I really fancy myself getting another birdie at that point if I found that ball. Next hole, knocked onto the green, gave myself a look, whacked it by, missed the putt. Sort of was still a bit hot from the hole before. And uh, yeah, double, single, after really making a nice start. So par, par, or par out on nine. Um, and then we get to the back nine, which is pretty solid. But 
There's a lot of pars here, but a lot of putts that had a decent look. So 10 made a pretty routine par. 11 had a look from about 11 foot. 11, that's quite exact. Around 10 foot, it's 12 foot. 12 knocked onto the fringe and then had like a long look from like 40 foot. Rolled it in. 13, which is the clip that you're gonna see. So this was playing around a 175, slightly into wind. So I hit seven iron here, really solid. Knocked it onto the front of the green, gave myself a good look from 10 foot. And this literally just rolled past the left side of the hole. So really good chance there. Then onto 14, which is a long par four. What knocked, whacked. That's quite an amateur thing to say, isn't it? Whacked a driver. Um, gave it the old wallop over the, uh, over the tree and left myself like 80, 90 yards. Hit like a big drive down there. Left myself like 90 yards, little flick on. Had a look for birdie, which you're gonna see here. Just missed the left side of the cup. So next hole, par five. Decent iron, decent iron. Gave myself a look, missed from 10 foot. So at this point I'm thinking, right, that's three, well, basically three putts out of four. One of them's gone in from miles away. The others are quite makeable. You'd usually expect to hold maybe like one or two of those. 16 is that par four that I hit massive right with drive yesterday. So what I did this round is hit four iron just up to the tree line, hit seven iron up near the green, two putts, but um, par. 17, gave myself another good look from 12 foot. Um, just missed that putt for birdie. And then 18, I'm level par at this point and probably could have been quite comfortably like three under. I know it's very easy to say, but take that shot out, which hit a tree on the front line, and say I just make par there, um, I would have been, you know, one under going out, and then probably could have held a few. So it could have been like three or four under at this point. Anyway, we can all say that, it's golf. 18, knocked it on the green for three, hit it too far by, left myself two foot down the hill, like really steep, and missed it, so bogey. So from level to one over, shot one over for the day. But the biggest thing I've taken from this is like, if you look at my first event of the year last year, I scored quite a lot as, as some of you can probably remember. Um, yeah, it was quite a high score to start the year last year. And this year, that's a much better start, like three over and one over. Okay, it, it could probably could have been a bit better, but it's my first tournament, especially filming tournament, filming a tournament for a very long time. So there's lots of positives to take, which I'm gonna take from that. I've got a big season ahead, and uh, I'm looking forward to playing the events and filming all of these rounds. Now the next event I played the next day, and this was not wise at all, it was the Devon match play, which was over two days. Played the tournament, which is three tournament days in a row, then drove home three hours, got home late, and then had to be up at like six in the morning to go and play possibly 36 holes at the Devon match play. This is not good scheduling, it's not smart at all. You're gonna see the Devon match play on the channel tomorrow. Some really good footage, got my cameraman, he could actually come in close, so it's not far away, it's nice and in the action. Played Oli Green State in the first round, that's coming tomorrow, and then I've got another big announcement, which I'm gonna like keep, keep quiet for now, but this could be like ridiculously big for the channel. So we're gonna go into that soon. So yeah, make sure you catch the match play tomorrow and I'll see you soon.